Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'll do my best to make this video not so long, but you guys already know we're gonna have to break this down in multiple parts. You guys have been asking for it, so here it is. This is the First part to the Kimmy and Maurice debuncture. I went live to talk about some of my concerns, issues, or points that I wanted to bring up in this video. And a lot of you all agreed. A lot of you guys sent me some topics that you guys want me to discuss. And like I said, I'm going to have to break everything down in multiple videos in order to make all of this make sense. But I've put together a few clips in this video that you guys can see for reference points. So let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that I upload. In order to get some understanding of Kimmy and Maurice's relationship, we have to start from the beginning where all the confusion for me actually starts. Now, I've been saying for the longest over here on my platform that I believe Kimmy is a side chick and has always been a side chick. And the main reason that I felt this way was because she wanted to check on Slarion, but never had that same energy for Mel. And in my opinion, there's only one reason why. What was also interesting to me is their stories switch up multiple times. So we're going to have to slow their ass down in this video and try to make it all make sense. What's always been consistent in my opinion, is Kiowa. Kiowa has always been consistent and persistent about her stance on this entire situation. Like she said, it's not necessarily that she care, but she's always stood on the fact that they were together when they, before they even got divorced. My opinion, Kimmy gets a lot of heat because she tries to portray herself to be this woman that she isn't. In my opinion, she's male identified, which is why she feels like Kiowa owes her something even though she was dating her husband before they even got divorced. In my opinion, Maurice and Kimmy has something to cover up. They're intentionally trying to hide something. And let's be real, have we ever even got an official date or, you know, how they actually really got together when, month, date, week, time. Not saying that it's required, but like I said, I'm gonna just give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this entire situation. Kimmy has a lot to hide because in my opinion, a real woman would have just been like, okay, Maurice maybe have lied to you and me, but I've already fallen in love with him. So I want to see where this takes us. So we can just say, okay, that's a stupid choice, but at least she's honest about what actually took place. But the fact that she's adamant about never being involved or interfering in these people's marriage, even though Kaiwa had said that they were talking about reconciling the fact that she isn't woman enough to say I didn't know that they were in the process of reconciling when they were also signing divorce papers so that could be the reason why she has this I guess emotion toward me but the fact that she is just adamant about not having anything to do with the reason why they got divorced and I'm not saying she is the reason they got divorced but like I said Kaiwa felt like they could have reconciled. I believe that because she can't just be real about that, she know that she was dirty in this situation and she was messing with Maurice sexually before they even got divorced. Because one thing that I also pay attention to, they put emphasis on dating, right? They put emphasis on dating, but we're adults. You can be friends and still have sexual encounters with another person, if you get what I'm saying. But as far as them making a official relationship, 
dating, they put emphasis on that. And I want y'all to pay attention to it. So like I said, I'm not, I don't want to ramble too much, but let's play some of these clips because I don't want this video to be so long. I am going to allow the clips to play fully throughout this video. And then I'm going to create a live so we can break it down and dissect it because I think that makes it kind of easy in my opinion. So y'all check out these clips, get in the comments, let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm a bit confused as to how they met as a whole. Kimmy said that she stalked them. Then they said that the first time Kimmy met Kiowa was when she sold her some toys, but she never knew of Maurice. It's a lot of confusion. And I really want y'all to help me make this make sense because this is just going to be part one because I'm now extremely interested in how this whole thing even happened so check out these videos join my live when i start my live don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that i upload I'm changing out flippers and clips and stuff that's how i got to meet maurice because i kind of uh, stalked him on facebook for a little while <laughs> hey and patricia my girlfriend she was like oh, he's yeah. a he's a barber and I was like, really? She was like, yeah, he cuts hair. And I was like, word. So I went on Facebook and I was like, I hear you cut hair. And he was like, I do. I said, well, I have a son that needs a haircut. And as a single mother of a young gentleman, I actually took that opportunity as a chance to get to know Maurice. And so he came over to cut Jalen's hair. So that was one of our very first um introductions i didn't know i was getting interviewed at the time <laughs> what can we do uh, and this is serious what can we do to prove to you that we weren't dating at that time and part of the right. reason why does no, it matter let why me, does it, what's, it matters wow. to you why does it does not matter to me they asked me a question okay and I, I answered the question it doesn't matter you're married now what difference does it make when you dated that's what she I'm, asked because me because you've been salty for years. Not because of that. Not because of that. What, what is it then? The problem was, like she said, she said that was the first time I met her. Actually, that was the second time I met you. That was shady. So wait. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. No, you have got to hear this because What's this is almost time? crazy. Okay. <laughs> the first time I met Kiowa, I had no idea who she was, nor any of these Scots. She sold adult toys and I bought them. And how some kind of relationship came from that where she feels like now I'm shady because your next encounter, I met your husband, I have no idea. But that's what she's making this correlation to. And is that why you think she shouldn't be around your son because she purchased sex toys? And when I met him, I didn't know that was her ex-husband. <laughs> the, the connection is that my brother was married to her sister-in-law at that time, which is Kimmy's friend. Of 13 years. Right. They lived in Huntsville. We lived in Michigan. We went down to visit. She was actually selling the toys. Kimmy showed up and bought toys, but I didn't know who Kimmy was. <laughs> no, or do nobody you feel, did. You feel like his brother introduced them? The mm -hmm. person that hosted the party did, mm -hmm. but that was my friend and her friend. I, I just wouldn't intro, introduce friends to hook up with the ex. That, that's, to me, that's just... Mm -hmm. that's so... True feelings, honest feelings, whatever. Maurice is making decisions for her to be able to move here. I'm at fair game at this point, so I don't intend on restraining or holding back if, in fact, things are not done appropriately. Hi, guys. Hello, Kiowa. Hello. Kimmy, Kiowa, Kiowa, Kimmy. Um, I'm sorry that Zave couldn't make it because I wanted to make sure that all of us came together to make sure that we're fostering relationships between all of the co-parents. I guess we could start off with like any concerns about, you know, Monster living with us or your relationship with Kimmy. Currently, I don't have a relationship with Kimmy. Well, there you have it. Um, I've always felt like you've never really cared for me. But how if you've never been around me? You emailed me on Facebook. What did I say? <laughs> well, you said that um, I need to not be around your son and I don't need to talk to your son. 
and if I got any questions or concerns, I need to say them to your face. Um, what was this? Probably about seven years. I don't even remember that. So if I did say that, I probably, I mean, I don't know. I don't recall it, but in the beginning, things were sketchy. The way you met Maurice, it felt in the beginning as a line had been crossed. We, had, we were going through whatever we were going through. I don't know what Maurice told you, but we weren't divorced yet. <laughs> we weren't divorced yet. I'm not one for foolishness. I understand the concept of divorce and marriage. Us meeting as friends is a completely different different time frame than us actually starting to date. We didn't date until y'all were wholly divorced. Okay, great. That's what it is, you know? As far as going forward, either we're going to move forward, we're going to still hold on to what was. I would hope we have all grown since then. Are we going to pick up or are we going to keep holding on to that? I'm not holding on to anything that happened seven or eight years ago because things continue to happen. There's conversations you have with him, and I don't know if you feel like he's not going to tell me. Oh, uh, no, he does. There's things that he tells me that you've said that imply he didn't care for me. Such as? I don't want you to feel like I'm inappropriate to be around your baby. I'm comfortable with my body, so I don't have an issue. We go to the beach, I'm in bikinis, I walk through the hotel. It doesn't bother me when you say things that may be derogatory towards me. It makes me feel like, I guess, you're holding on to whatever that was that we need to clear up. Kyle would text me about Kimmy. Kyle would call her a, a skank or a trick or something. It was completely inappropriate. We'll never see eye to eye on certain things. Mm -hmm. Some people wear bikinis, some people wear thong bikinis. Other people wear right. cover-ups. But a, a mother? Mothers wear thong bikinis. Just because Kimmy will show off her body and you won't doesn't mean that she's wrong for doing it and you're right for not. I feel like from a um, mom's perspective, I, I feel that that's inappropriate. Well, but Inappropriate is an acceptable term. I'm okay with you feeling like that, but those aren't the only terms you used. And this was during a heated conversation. Maurice was saying some things to me too. I can't sit here and remember verbatim because I'm not that person I like going on, but he was saying some things to me as well in this text. I don't know if this is as beneficial as I would like. All I got was, I don't remember that. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't say that, if you say so. My fundamental request is own your That's all I'm saying. About her having second thoughts about moving Monster to Huntsville. I don't think that that's fair, considering the father that I am. Tell her. I don't think it's fair. Zay, if were to sit here and say the stuff that she said on TV, that he didn't want to be a parent, or he said he didn't he didn't feel like he wanted to raise another child. Alone. Or I've never if, said that. Alone. I've never said the that. Key word okay, is alone. alone, whatever. So, or if he said that if he had an, a major issue with you. You act as like a you person. haven't given me a reason to have an issue. You keep acting like I came up with this by myself. What have I done to you? All of this you stuff. What have me? I done Why to do you? Why do you keep saying that? What have I done to you? You're talking Kyla, about. you have been ill towards me from day one. You've never had a nice thing to say to anybody. Maybe there's people you don't think are going to tell me what you say. And then when Maurice even addresses it, you say, well, I said that in private. Just because no, you say it behind no, my back doesn't mean no, that you don't say no. it. First and no all, place is ever going to move forward until you Why think that? You, you, you think I'm going to trust them? I'm I mean, saying that's so your how people. you going to sit why here and keep I, acting like you didn't whatever. say nothing? But I, the I, reason we're saying here, something, that's the what the reason problem is. we're here. Something I've said, that's the problem? You, yes, you constantly Disrespect okay. me. Kyra. All right. You I haven't disrespected me. Disrespect I haven't disrespected And for you. years, he's let you I'm, because I'm of this. Because of you. this moment when you say, I'm thinking I'm going to change my mind. That's why he's let you disrespect me this long. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the problem. This is the problem. Before television mm -hmm. and on television, Kimmy's never said anything negative about Kyle, except for I'm not going to keep getting disrespected. That's it. And she said, I've gotten... Okay. I've got taken to task for years about this. And it's an uncomfortable situation to be in just to try to parent. And I'm saying that right now, this is a responsibility that God gave me and I cherish it. Like when I wake up in the morning and I see my son every day, do you understand how that makes me feel? Mm -hmm. I'm happy every single I day I do. see him, man. I For do. real. Because I, I do the same thing. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Well, Kimmy 
made it very clear when she was speaking with you that she wanted, for her to be able to move forward, she wanted an apology from Kiowa. And you said, I'm not sure you're gonna get what it is that you're looking for. I don't what, what is it you want Kiowa to apologize for specifically? I am a person of ownership, period. And when you own it, you say, damn, I'm sorry. I've been in her place. I know everything. I'm a single parent. I don't have to keep proving to her that I get it. I don't have anything against her. I love her kid, and I don't have one single thing against her. We fight because I try to help him understand the position as a mother. They haven't even been to court. I had a police officer knock on my door and give me papers to go to be full custody with his dad. He's trying not to do that with her. He's doing the best he can not to go to court. And I'm in her corner, and she just can't see it. And I don't get that. Kiowa. Yeah. Come on. They're trying. He's stepping up to do what a lot of men don't do when they move on with their lives. And then she's a willing participant. She loves your son. Mm -hmm. And it feels like, from the outside looking in, that you're resisting. And, and I think it's time for you to let it go. Just let it go. Do you think you can apologize? to Kimmy yeah, she can for tell what, what has I... been said so far so that, so that you guys can move forward. What have I said? You gotta own it. Oh well, I will, what have I said? Kimmy, I'm good. Kimmy, no, no. I'm good. Kimmy, we're gonna... I'm good. That's the truth, that's the truth. All steps forward. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll ever be besties because of just some of the things that have happened. Like, I mean, like her making implications like I interfered in their marriage and that kind of thing. That makes well, it... Well, do you feel like you interfered in their marriage? Of course not. Mm, okay. Absolutely not. Because you and I never really had that conversation. Like, we've never talked about that. I've heard it. I've heard it implied. I've mm -hmm. heard... But I've never just asked you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So whenever no. you and Maurice met, they were already divorced? They weren't divorced. They were in the process. They had both signed the paperwork and they were waiting for the paperwork. So why did she even think that you interfered in the marriage? Even though they had signed papers, she was talking about reconciliation. 